Alrighty there, awesome. So before we get into the really awesome tools, what I want to do is I just want to go over some really basic Linux commands related to networking. So not all the other Linux commands like changing directories and stuff. Specifically, a tool called ifconfig. Now this is a tool that lets you view and configure your network interfaces. In other words, all the cards that allow you to get online on the internet. Now I'm going to hit enter and I'll talk to you guys about the setup I'm on right now. So I'm on pretty much just like a normal laptop and I'm in my back room and I have an ethernet cable plugged into the side. So that's one way it's hooking up to the internet and this laptop, it also came with a wireless card, but it was kind of crappy. So I bought another one, the one I showed you in the last video off of Amazon. So now that you guys know about this, you can probably understand a little bit more clearly what you're looking at. So all of the devices, hold on, <coughs> how come I always cough during my tutorials? I never cough and then as soon as I start filming, immediately get whooping cough, it's weird. <laughs> but anyways, you can see the names of the devices on the left. So this is my ethernet, that's where it's plugged into and a little more information about each card is on the right hand side. This one right here is not an actual interface or not a physical interface in the sense that you can't hold it in your hand. It's a loopback interface. And this is just saying that whenever you type in 127.0.0.1, then it's your own computer. It's a local host. So if you guys, you know, try to open your computer and try to look for this, you're not going to find it. Um, this one, like I said, this is the one that was pre-installed, came with my laptop. And this is the good one. So that's the one that we're going to be using for most of this tutorial. And all of these other interfaces we really aren't going to worry about. Another thing I want to mention is whenever you're looking at this information, you really are only going to probably need these top four lines right here. These bottom four, I don't want to say that they're not important, but you really don't use them that much. This top four line lines of info this is where all your mac addresses and you know your ip address you can see if your card is up or down and i'll talk to you guys in detail about what that means later on but there you go now let me clear out of here and another thing i want to show you guys is this so what we just looked at is ifconfig there's also an optional parameter called ifconfig a so ifconfig the normal one that we saw before it's going to show you all your active interfaces now, if you throw that dash A in there, it's going to show you your interfaces, whether they're active or not. So if you know you have a card, but you can't see it, that's because it's not active and you need that dash A. Mine's the exact same because all my interfaces are active, but just want to mention that in case you guys have any trouble. Now, you saw whenever I typed ifconfig, then it listed all my interfaces. However, during these tutorials, like I said, we really don't care about most of those. So what I'm going to be doing is something like this. I have config WLAN1. So if you run this command, then it just helps clean up the clutter and it only shows you information about WLAN1, which is the main wireless card that we're going to be using. Now, if you ever just want to bring an interface up or down, and that means whenever you're bringing an interface up, it means that it's enabled. In other words, it can now send and receive info and get online pretty much. So if I type ifconfig, you can see that these are all up right now. So you can tell by this keyword right here, if you see up, then it's up, it's working, it's enabled. If you ever want to bring one down for any reason, let's say we want to disable this ethernet, then what we can do is ifconfig, eth, I say etho, but it's actually eth0 down. So now if I do ifconfig again, you can see that, all right, it is indeed down. So let me bring that back up. ifconfig and boom, look at that, back up. So there you go, that's how you bring interfaces up or down, enable them or disable them. Now, a couple other things I actually want to show you guys is if you ever want to change any of the settings for a specific card, then what you can do is this. So I have config. Let's say we want to change the IP address of ETH0, my Ethernet card. All you have to do is type that and then type in the new IP address. So 192.whatever.whatever.whatever. Well, whatever, whatever. 
Now you can also change the subnet mask by typing in net mask and then your new subnet mask, which would be 255, 255 dot, you know, whatever you want it to be. And you can actually, I'll show you this too. If you want to change your Mac address, then you type HW ether and then your new Mac address, whatever you want. Now if you're running, all right, I have, you know, some basic networking knowledge and I know that my... MAC address is already burnt, burnt into my card. My IP address gets assigned to me through DHCP. So pretty much whenever I go to someone's house and get on their Wi-Fi, I automatically get a new IP address. So why would I ever want to assign one myself? Well, what we can do is say that we got hired by some company to, you know, find vulnerabilities with our Wi-Fi network. Now we try to connect our laptop to attack it. However, we were firewalled out. So that means their network says, you know what? Only certain devices are allowed. The CEOs, uh, you know, the janitors and the secretary. Now, the way it verifies that is by IP address. So what we can do is we can just uh, view their IP address and then change ours to theirs. Same thing with MAC address and it's called IP spoofing, MAC spoofing. And it gets a lot more detailed than that. But it's you pretty much can change it to pretend to be someone else or just for anonymity. If you want to, you know, hide the identity of your computer, then there you go. But uh, yeah, so video is getting kind of long. So that's all you guys get for this video. Actually, one more thing. So, you know, the commands I've been talking about where I have config, there's also IW config. Now, this is going to show you all of the settings for your wireless cards. So that's why it says like Ethernet. This card doesn't have any wireless extension. So there you go. However, whenever we need to change one of our wireless settings, then we're not going to be doing so through iwconfig. We're actually going to be using a special tool that's built into Kali, and it's one of the tools from the Aircrack suite. And the reason that we do this is because it's a lot faster and easier, and you guys are going to be seeing all the cool things that we can do later on. But for now, there you guys go. You now have a basic understanding of networking commands in Linux. Pretty stinking awesome. I will see you guys next time.